Hello everyone, this is Karen and thank you for joining me for this speed paint and chat video. The inspiration for um, this was a video I found here on YouTube and I will link it in the description box below. So while you're watching me color this old musician, I want to make a consideration about the watercolor paint that I came across by using the colors in my paper palette video. If you haven't watched it, I will put uh, a link to it, both on the side of this video and uh, in the description box. It is basically a six colors palette, but uh, um, colors were not chosen with intent, in the sense that they are my only Schmincke Holland paints and uh, I've bought them randomly a year ago. and. Uh, I've used them a couple of times, I had the primaries to uh, get a feel of the paint and to decide which brand I wanted to buy more of, and then I just bought uh, three other random colors. And uh, yeah, never really used them a lot, so I thought I could try to get more familiar with them and use them up a bit. Um, so I've been using that palette quite frequently lately and uh, it has made me realize how important it is to have a color uh, palette you are comfortable with and uh, you don't realize that until you're forced to use another palette over and over again. And uh, it's not the brand's fault or the pigment's fault, it's simply that some people prefer different things. Um, maybe a more hu muted hue, or some people like granulation, other like uh, transparency. It's um, we are different, uh, and the way we do art is different. So the things we look for in supplies are different. Well, we can kind of think, oh yes, this is natural. It's obvious. You never feel how true it is until you step out of your comfort zone uh, um, completely. And, uh, you know, stepping out, uh, uh, it's fun, it's great, makes you discover more things. But uh, mm, those new things are only great if you can work with them and if you can integrate them in your process. If it's something you don't like the feel of, you don't like the result, and you struggle to put it together with everything else in your art arsenal, then it's only going, in, going to be damaging if you insist on it. And... Uh, I can finally say, I should not be so happy about this, but uh, I have met my arch enemy <laughs> during this personal project and uh, its name is uh, Walnut Brown. I, I've i never liked uh, uh, granulating pigments and this one is like, I don't know, dirt home invasion or something. It takes over everything, granulates in puddles everywhere mix a mess of my mixes and also my flats. I've struggled by using it and I've used it uh, quite a lot of times even after I started well not hating it but really disliking it and I failed each and every time up to the point where I said fine I'm changing palettes because I can't stand you anymore. Um, so. What I want to know is if I am alone in this, uh, if there is a color you dislike so much it gets thrown out of a palette as soon, as soon as you unbox it or you discovered your dislike for it later on after you tried it, mm, why do you dislike it? Is it the hue, the composition, the properties? Uh, share your own arch enemy paint, I'm curious to see the difference between uh, us artists. This. Uh, this was my chat. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for being with me and until next time.